Hello, welcome to Restoration of Arafia. Long live the campaign of the king. The war in Arafia is the greatest thing that could have happened for the nation of Dasia. A war of this scale is an endless harvest for our undead armies. Oh, I get to play as undead now. Necromancy and vampire lords hype. Today we shall feast and tomorrow we shall conquer Arafia for ourselves. A griffin's heart. To win, you must bring the spirit of oppression to the city of Stone Castle within three months. Seek out Thier, and completing the Seer's quest will allow you to carry the reward to the next scenario. Okay. Death Rebel, one Black Knight. Start with Skeleton Transform. What the? I guess that's a base week. I'm gonna go with the Black Knight, though. Our nation's goal was to kill the man who banished us from Irathia. However, Nyan and Aeofel's subsequent invasion has done us an unexpected favor. I like this voice actor. Irathia is strewn with the dead. For the necromancers, I have this no time is a for season of harvest. Morning, Crafty Kato. This is a season for war. Queen Catherine Morning, is a formidable M8. foe. Can't watch long due to, to exams, Arathia's but I wish you well. We will need a tactician greater than her. Man, that's we have a scary exams. And ironic Many plan. years behind me, those While are. Catherine organizes the last All the best of, of the luck. War with Nyan and Yofel, you will sneak into Irathia and locate King Griffinheart's grave. Be wary. The region is occupied by scattered Arathian. When the gravesite is found, we will resurrect the dead king and make him our pawn. With King Griffinheart commanding our armies, his former home will become our land of These the dead. These guys are sick. The way I heard it, it sounded sick to me. Yes, Nanchi, there will be Warcraft for you later, pretty much as usual. Our spies tell us that the tomb of King Griffinheart is located in the town of Stonecastle near Arafia's northern border, in a place that was clear of the war with Nyon and Eofel. Seek this place out and capture it so that we may animate the body of the dead king. Okay. So King is located in the town of Stonecastle. Northern border. Small map by the looks of it. You must also seek out the Spirit of Oppression and bring it to Stone Castle, as it is one of the only items, or one of the items we need for the ritual to animate the king's body. But you must act quickly. The body will be of no use to us if its spirit departs. Okay, here we go as undead. Skellies and zombies. There's the skeleton transformer. Allows you to convert any creature into a skeleton, huh? I don't remember that from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. That's kind of cool. Of course, skeletons are a tier 1 unit, so... You don't exactly want to <laughs> convert archangels into skeletons, but... Estate. I should probably go for vampires, like, straight away, shouldn't I? I'm even playing as a vampire. Well, he looks like a vampire. It's called a death knight, though. Doesn't look as good as these guys, though. Increases the attack and defense skills of vampires. Or f Isn't this like one of the best guys you can get then? For undead. Just. Unfortunately, he's got basic artillery, but. The attack and defense skills of vampire or vampire lords for each level attained after a fourth. Not that he's going to get very high level on this, but theoretically, wouldn't he not be one of the best? Nearly four centuries ago, Fukio. Fukio! Ruled his own kingdom, but as. Time passed, he grew increasingly bored with day-to-day -day responsibilities. He eventually gave up everything to return to the life of adventure and he much preferred. He is an elder, even among other vampires. Ah, so he is a vampire then. Bleh! Here's my vampires. Oh, they don't look like they do much damage. I figure as long as I've got like one of these. 120 health. Damn. It's not even the upgraded one. They're really cool, aren't they? Look at their damage. They make the bone dragons look bad. Got a necromancer here as well. If we put our forces into one. And really just go for that heavy necromancy. I like the idea of that. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was wondering why I was hearing ice cream fan music. <laughs> Free raiders from ESO15 have joined. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bring on the ice cream. I hope you guys have got some ice cream because I was thinking about ice cream earlier. I won't have any because I'm healthy, but I couldn't get the sound of the Grand Theft Auto ice cream van out of my head. It's so catchy, that tune. Why don't you go up and see what's going on over here? Aha! That's what I thought. Yes, I would like some skeletons. Don't really want a heretic. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to stick with two heroes. It's a small enough map. Unless I really feel obliged to get more. See, I'm not going to be able to go far with him anyway. Ice Lysis, thank you very much there for the sad. Increase sub, welcome aboard. See, I lost two skeletons. Do I get skeletons? Locator Rogar. Oh, what happened to that? I don't know if I actually got more skeletons or what. Maybe I... It rounds it off, so maybe I lost like 10 skeletons, but I got 12... No, 8 skeletons. If you see what I mean. So, theoretically, I only lost 2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go for the greed. Because all we need is vampires, really. As long as they're ticking, that's good enough for me. You'd think that this building would be on the left. It feels like it should be the other way around. This is the building I click on to upgrade my stuff, and this is where I would go to get my forces. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to that. I feel like it's going to throw me off for some time. So what was my mission here? To win, you must bring the spirit of oppression to the city. That's basically in the middle. I feel like that shouldn't be too challenging. Oh, hell no. Hell no. As long as I don't get morale. This should be cool. Hey! No, 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 no. Why do you get your turn before my vampires? No, no, no. No, no, no. I think we'll avoid you then. I'm not quite as strong as I was hoping I would be. I'm like, nah, mate. Nah, that's not, that's not gonna fly. I imagine the Vampire Lords do get, yeah, much better stats. But I'm just losing skeletons, that's fine. That's kind of the nice thing about this race. It's just like, you don't care too much, it's just like some skeletons. You can get those back with, like, better necromancy. Oh, I love the music so much. Alright, we're coming around here again, are we? Yes! Join me, my skeleton brethren. Be one. The 
this looks like a sphere. In my younger days, I'd have done this myself. But I need your help. A friend of mine recently had a family heirloom stolen and wants to find it. The problem is, it looks exactly like this hourglass of the evil hour. Please bring me any item that fits that description. Even if the artifact is not the family heirloom, I will reward your efforts. Kato. I don't like. Do not want. We're going to go for that cat tour. Ah! Dang! And then I want to upgrade the vampire estate. And then we coo. Take those vampires off because I'm going to upgrade those. Necromancy amplifier. Because the plan is to get those. I mean, we can come through here and then start killing pikemen. They'll be easier. So that would work for me. I keep doing it, do you notice? I keep clicking on the left building first. And that's not going to stop. Sorcery wouldn't work with necromancy, would it? Fire! Oh, their damage is still bad. I guess you've really got to get good stats with them, haven't you? Good attack and defense. The damage is not that impressive, actually. So the potential of... I know that vampire laws still have that potential, but it feels to me like they're not going to be quite as amazing as I was hoping. I know they heal themselves, but they've got to do damage to heal themselves, don't they? It's the, they do damage... The damage they do is what heals them. Oh, yes, I do want to fight them. And why, why am I not getting skeletons? Am I missing something here? They do 139 damage and drain 12 life. So they get 10%, basically. Less than 10%. I have no time for this. Unicorn, you need to use the undead units to spook the enemies to death. It doesn't work like that. Advanced Necromancy allows 20% of the creatures killed in combat to be brought back from the dead as skeletons. Again, I don't feel like I'm actually getting skeletons out of this. Where's my skeletons? That's what I say. What have you done with my damn skeletons? They drain 100% of their damage. 
That's the amount they could draw. Oh, I don't even understand. I don't, well, you know, it, it will make more sense once I've had more of a chance to play. The music's different to what I remember. It's quite subtle, actually. It's delicate. Very, very gentle. Toy, 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 toy. That's kind of a neat aesthetic. You know what? I was going to say I'll take it because I only care about the vampire lords for this one. But we'll see. can't go in there because I'm going to get my ass handed to me. I've got to get everyone else like lined up and ready to break through at the same time. Zombies. All right. We did it. I'm always scared about what ability it's going to give me. Wow. That really is pointless. I mean... It's not like it's going to matter. I'm not going to fill up all these abilities. It just... I get insulted. I feel insulted just looking at that ability. Alright, boy. Time to... Make your way around. Get ready, ready. Get re ready, ready. Get ready. Get ready, 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 ready. Get ready. Get ready, ready, ready. I think I have. No, I thought I had the pendant. I was wrong. I don't. It's fine. I'll just go to the base myself, actually. I was going to swap some units, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, 
This stuff's going to be pricey. Can't I even afford the liches? Alright, that'll do. We're fine. I really don't think we need to overthink this level. Sleep now. Right. We're going to do this without losing any skeletons. And we're going to see how many skeletons we get at the end. And then I'm going to get angry that I don't understand how this is working. Oh yeah. Go. They look like they got a bucket helmet. But I still like them. Their stats don't change. Death blow attack is what you get, basically. I was going to say, because their initial stats are really good. 120 and 15 to 30. It's pretty amazing for like a late tier unit. That's a death blow, isn't it? So it's double damage. And they could do up to 30. Damn. So there's no skeletons! Where's my skeletons? I'm mad. Look to the side. There's a bit to the side. Alright, let me kill something else. Oh! I got seven skeletons here. Seven skeletons isn't much though. Although that wasn't that many units I killed, so that's not too bad, actually. So many seers. So they all want these items, but I haven't come across any of them so far. Right, so... What? I just have to... Look over here for how many skeletons I got, or what? It doesn't actually tell you. I thought it should tell you, though. Ah, oh, I see. Four skeletons. Okay. That's not too bad. At least it tells you, but I think it would make more sense if it just told you in the combat screen. I don't know why I keep going for gold. <laughs> I don't need to stop going for gold. I'm not doing anything. Just give me experience. It's a hell of a lot of monks and zealots. So, I'm going to get that handed in, and then that's probably going to give me another item, which then we take to the other guy, then to the other guy, then to the other guy. This is the best level ever. This is so easy. I like it. I like easy mode levels. They're fun, because I still get to enjoy the game. But I don't have to stress. So this guy wanted the hourglass. I think someone down here wanted it. Uh, don't know what to see here. Where's that mushroom? Ah. Spoken like a true junkie.
That's it now, isn't it? Seek out the seer. Completing the seer's quest will allow you to carry the reward to the next... Yeah, but you have to do it anyway, because it tells you to bring the spirit of oppression. You only get the spirit of oppression by doing the seer's quest. So, unless I'm wrong, I don't think there's any way to complete this level without doing the seer's quest. So it seems weird to say that, oh, it's a bonus. Because it's not. It's, it's mandatory. <laughs>